Today I'm going to teach you how to create a Pi game window. This video is mainly for beginners and if you're a beginner this video is for you. So let's start coding. So firstly we need to import Pi game. So Pi game is a module and if you don't know what that is it's kind of like a package. It's really hard to explain. But when I um, type in Pi game and run this it should say hello from the Pygame community. Some of you might get an error because you gotta install Pygame and this is how we do it. You go to the terminal window then you type in pip install Pygame. Very simple. Since I've already installed it, um, I can't install it. So after you do that you get hello from the Pygame community. After that, we need to initialize PyGame. So let's do that. Initialize, um, initializing PyGame means that we're turning it on, basically. So you see how it lights up orange, and now uh, how it's bright. So since we're creating a PyGame window, we need to give the com uh, we need to give PyGame the width and the height of our game window. So we got to create two variables named width and height. For width, we'll set it to 800 and for height, we'll make it 500. Width, width is 500 and height is, oh no, it's reverse. Width is 800 and height is 500 so those are the width and the height of our game window now we need to create a variable that creates the game window and we'll call this a variable screen because it's a screen so screen equals pi game dot display dot set underscore mode and then we will um, give it our width and height variables inside these brackets so width remember that width goes first and then height goes second so width and height so this is basically if you want to create a game window but if you want to quit it you gotta mm, force quit it since we didn't give Pygame the uh, the code to quit the game window. To do that, we need to create a variable and a while loop. So let's do that. And we'll call our variable run. And then we'll set one to true. Okay, and now we'll create a while loop. So while run. So it's basically like while true, but one is the easier way of saying it. So while one, we are checking if the user is uh, trying to quit. So if you want to check, we got to use this. We got to create a for loop for event in pygame dot event dot get. Uh, brackets colon and then that's how we're checking for an event and if that event is quit so if event dot type equals equals pygame dot quit then we um set one to false basically like this one equals false so let's run this and look at this pi game window and we created a variable and now if we want to quit we just press this done so i'll tell you again what we did here we created a for loop what this for loop is going to do is it's going to check if the use for any event and then in the for loop we have an if statement 
So it's gonna check for an event, and if the event is quit, we set one to false, and the game window is gonna close like that. Very simple. When I press one, the p a game window is called Pi Game Window. I don't really like that. I wanna give it my own name. So. If you want to do that, it's basically simple. We'll create a different variable called screen name, okay? And in this variable, we're going to see pi game pi game dot display dot caption uh no, I'm sorry. pi game dot display dot set caption and in there, we do quotes, and in the quotes, we put in our name. I, I want to call it mm, display window. Now let's run this. Look, display window, and we have our screen. So that is basically it, and I hope you learned something in this video. See you next time.